Hey you all, I hope your day is going great. In this part you will implement the design inside of HTML and CSS. And as you can see we have two files right here which we created in the last part. And of course we want to include the materialized framework. So to do this in a more convenient way we are going to create another file called base.html. And in here is going to set all of our boilerplate code which is going to be shared along the other HTML files. So as I have Emmet installed I can just type in the exclamation mark and then hit tab and you will automatically get all of the code and now we want to include the materialized framework so I'm on the materializedcss.com website and you can go and click on get started and then just grab these two lines of code and paste them right here you can get rid of the comments and we actually want to take the JavaScript line and put it at the bottom of the body. And now we can start defining our block content section and then end block. And also we want to include our own styles.css file, so just the link. Again, I'm hitting tab with Emmet and the href is going to be to static and it's going to be located under CSS and styles.css and at the very top of the base.html make sure to load static and now that we have that we can go into the budget application right click and new folder and just create the static folder and in here the CSS folder and the styles.css file and I'm on the Google Fonts website now and we want to make sure to grab the Montserrat font. So just click the plus and then go to add import because we are going to do it in CSS and just copy it and paste it in the styles. And then we can define an HTML block and just set the font family to Montserrat globally. And we will start out this entire building with the project list because it's the easiest one to build. So first of all, make sure to extend the budget base.html template. And then we can define the block content and the end block. And in here we want to have a div with the class of container from materialized CSS. Again, I'm typing the dot for the class and then container and hit tab again. And we get that automatically filled in. And inside of the container, we want to put another container called no project wrapper. And then another dot with the center class to have everything centered and hit tab. And now we need an H3 and then the class of gray text. And in here it simply says, sorry, you don't have any projects yet. And next up, I want to create an A and give it the class of BTN large and also the class of gray and the tab. And it's going to lead to nowhere for now. And now I actually want to use a material icon and to do that I'm going to create an I and then add the class of material icons then also the class of white text and left. And this icon is actually called add underscore circle. And under the icon I want to have a span with the class of bold which is not a materialized CSS we have to create that on our own. And then it's going to say add project. And to include all of the icons, just go back to the getting started guide and then scroll down a bit until you see this line. Just copy it and go to the base and paste it. So make sure your server is running, of course. And if we refresh our page, you see that we get sorry, don't have any project yet. And this nice button, which is already formatted quite well. 
And next up we want to add the styles to make this look a bit better. So go to the styles.css and first of all I want to specify a background color of E0, 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 which is a grayish look. Clear, there's some error. Aborted. We might need to restart a server. And yeah, that's fixed. And you see this grayish background. And next up, I want to target the class, which is called bold, which we used here. And just simply give it the font weight of bold. And I'm just going to add a nice comment of general, just where all of our general styles are going to sit. And they are not tied to any specific section. Then we actually need to go in and create another comment. And let's call it project list. No projects. And now I want to target the no project wrapper, which is our parent element. And add in a margin top of 250 pixels. Then a padding of 80 pixels and then 0 pixels for left and right. And then a nice border of 6 pixels, solid, hashtag 9e, 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 which is the actually the gray style which we use here. It's just in hex value. And then the border style should be dashed, which is what we used in our original design. And let's just check how that looks. Already better. And then I want to again target the no project wrapper, the H3. So this heading. And I want to add in a padding of 10 pixels to all sides. And then I want to add in a margin bottom of 50 pixels. And that looks better. And that's about it for this style actually. It's quite simple as you can see. And next up we want to focus on our project detail style. And go back to the project detail.html. And it's going to be a bit more complicated, but you know, stick with me. So just copy everything and paste it right here. And now we want to create a section with the class of section and the class of section dash stats, which is short for statistics. And in here we are going to have the row, which we had in design as well, with the three columns. So just put in now three columns, the dot call class. And for now it's just going to be one because we are going to paste all of the other ones. And for large devices it should occupy four spaces out of 12. And of course that adds up to 12 if we have three of them. And now I want to use the class of card panel inside of the column and specify an h6 which was the label in our design total budget and then the value which is an h1 and we had three thousand dollars and now we can just copy and paste it down and actually go see how that looks random string and that's already looking a bit like our design but not quite so let's adjust some styles and go into the styles.css and I'm going to add another comment of project detail statistics now I want to target the section stats and the card panel which is in general just this whole box right here and add a margin of 8 pixels. So that's going to space it out a bit more. And next up we want to target the dot section stats, h1. And you're going to see why we do that in a minute when we get to the responsive part. And then the margin of 50 pixels for the top and the bottom and 0 pixels for left and right. And if we refresh the page, you'll see that it looks better already. And actually we want to go back into the markup and give them a class of bold.
Yeah, this looks better. And just paste them a few more times. Okay, and now we have still one problem, and this one is that if we try to resize this page, you see that it looks quite awful at very small screen sizes, which is why we are also going to specify how these columns should behave if the screen size gets smaller. So for small screens, we want one column to occupy 12 spaces. For medium, this top one should also occupy 12. And then the large is fine. And then just paste it over. And these last two should actually only occupy six for the medium. So let's see how that looks. And yeah, that's better already. But as you can see, the text gets quite small at smaller screen sizes. So I'm going to add in a media query with the max width of 992 pixels. And for this one, we are going to target the H1. I want to change the font size to calculate. 16 pixels plus 6 viewport widths. So it makes sure that it has at least a pixel size of 16 pixels and then plus the viewport width of 6. Let's see how that looks. That's already way better, I think. And we can keep it at that for now. And now again, we want to create another section for all of the expenses. So section dot section and give it also the class of section expenses. And now I want to create one row where the button is going to be. And the button is going to have a class of BTN and also the class of waves effect from materialize and also the class of write. And this is simply going to say add expense. And we can actually go into the project list or HTML and Copy this add circle icon. And where was I? And paste it here. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, looking fine. And actually, I don't really like this margin, so I'm going to remove that. Okay, that's better. And next up, outside of the entire row, we can create a UL, which is an unordered list with the Z depth of one, say another class from materialize. And now I want to create some allies and one always representing one expense. So div, we don't need to type in div, it's a div automatically. So to give it the class of card panel and then of Z depth zero, because we already have a depth for the UL and then add the class of expense and in here we want to have another row and then dot column make it a six for the large screens and in here we want to have a span and give it the class of title and this is going to display the expense name itself so let's just say page design like we did in the design episode and now we can copy this column And this should be changed to three. This one to only one. Get rid of this last one, don't need it. And in here is going to be the price to 49. And this one is going to display the actual category, which is for development. And after all of these columns, we want to have another A tag. And in here an I with the class of material icons. and red text and it should be to the right and this is going to just be the close icon okay we need some more refinement so go to the styles and again i'm going to add a comment of project detail expenses so target the section expenses button and give it a padding of top bottom zero and then left right 40 pixels and the font weight should be bold 
We want to have a nice text shadow of 0 pixels, 3 pixels, 4 pixels and an RGBA of fully black and then a transparency of 0.25 and the background color should be 6FCF97 and this is actually the green which we use inside of the design episode and then we want to target the section expenses the individual expense and this should, one should have a font size of 16 pixels then a border radius of 0 and a margin of 0 as well okay and now we want to target the section expenses the expense category and this one should have a font size of 13 pixels and can actually go ahead and just add in the style of or the class of bold so we don't need to repeat ourselves again I wonder where all of this padding is coming from it's actually from the row so let's go ahead and go to the top and select the row and add the margin of 0 and just make it important as it's overriding a materialized CSS you know class and that looks good so now let's go ahead and paste in two more of these allies one two well, actually another one so we have four now and as you might remember inside of the design episode we wanted every second one to have kind of a grayish look or background color so we can do that inside of CSS as well simply target the section expenses li and then we want to select the nth child which is even so every even child which means this is the first one will not be selected and the second one is of course even so that's going to be selected as well and then that continues for the rest of the allies and then target the expense inside of the ally and give it a background color of f2 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 and you see it working so those are the basics of our template we now are ready to go and actually wire it up to the database and allow the user to add some more expenses and projects but anyways if you stuck around until now make sure to let me know in the comments down below and leave a like as well and cheers